Just like that, without saying a single word, a company is actually anticipating you to be on the higher end of the salary range. And when they do see the number that you're presenting to them, they're not freaking out, they're not reacting, they're not getting offended because they're expecting it. Guys, let's talk about salary negotiations right now. Hey guys, it's Brian back at you with another video where my goal is to help you guys create a career and life that you'll be proud of. And if you like the content today, please hit that subscribe button. Okay, today I want to share with you guys a salary negotiation tip that is so powerful. It's actually really surprising that no one's ever really brought this up before. And that tip, more of a strategy and mindset, is really that the negotiation starts the moment that a recruiter calls you. I'm going to say that again. The negotiation process starts immediately as soon as an HR person or a recruiter reaches out to you either through email or through phone. Whereas for everyone else, and when I say everyone else, I'm talking about your competition, the negotiation process for them typically starts when the company asks them what kind of salary they're expecting or what kind of salary they're currently making today. That is way later in the interview process, but for you, for those of you guys who follow my teachings, the salary negotiation starts way earlier. When I say that the negotiation process starts way earlier, what exactly do I mean? And I'm gonna answer that by way of an example. Let's say you're looking for a lawyer. Here's lawyer A. This guy rolls up in a Honda Civic. His office is on top of a nail salon. And this guy looks incredibly disheveled. Whereas lawyer B here rolls up in a Benz, probably has his own private driver. His office is located in central downtown with a penthouse view. Now you have no idea how much each lawyer charges, but let's say lawyer A said that he charged $1,000 an hour. You'd freak out, right? You'd be like, that's way too much. Whereas if lawyer B said that he charged $1,000 an hour, you'd be like, that's expensive, but I'm not surprised. So the takeaway here is that when it comes to salary negotiations, it starts here. It starts way before the actual conversations about salary even happens. It really starts at the moment you make an impression. The way you walk, the way you talk, the way you dress, the way you present yourself is so important. If you're doing a video interview, your audio quality, your video quality has to be first class. And the power in all of this is that you're creating a subliminal message that you are expensive, that you have high value. And let me be very clear, I am not encouraging you guys to come off as if you don't care, as if you're entitled or snobby. You can present yourself as someone who provides high value without coming off as a narcissist. And it's funny, when it comes to negotiation, everyone else thinks it starts the moment that the employer asks you what your current salary is or what kind of expectations expectations you have with regards to salary. And when you look at other references, other resources, other YouTubers, it's about how to split the difference, how to have that conversation in a polite way, to talk about compensation, about getting that through vacation time or bonuses. But really, it's an uphill battle, especially when the employer thinks you're not really worth the amount that you are asking for. I know you're going to be different. You're going to create a very strong impression right out of the gate. It really changes the expectations. They're going to anticipate you to ask for more money as a result. Subliminally, everything is in your favor and you haven't even said what salary you actually wanted. Of course, you still wanna be prepared and armed with information on how to do the actual numbers negotiation. And I recommend that you check out other YouTubers or other references, but it's so important at the end of the day to create a strong impression. And I have a video right here that shows you exactly how to do that by asking really good questions throughout the interview. Check out the video right here. Guys, thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.